Hey guys, what's up? It's the Shotgun Shogun. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to play Fate Grand Order on your PC. Now, I'm not going to be telling you about Side Sync or Air Server or any of the other number of programs that you can use in order to mirror your phone onto your PC. No, we're going to be talking about the Nox emulator. Now, as a disclaimer, I do want to say that this can break at any time. As such, you are going to want to make sure that you are double, triple checking that you have a new transfer code at all times. Um, this way, if they do decide to patch this and they no longer allow emulation, you can at least have your account and transfer it back over to a phone or mobile device, tablet, whatever it is that you use uh, in order to play the game. So. One of the reasons why the emulators are very iffy and you want to be very careful is because at the very beginning of the game, the emulators were run rampant. I used an emulator called uh, Mimu, um, and I ran six accounts. It was a godsend for re-rolling. However, you can kind of see where that issue would come into play. I'm Roy rolling six accounts at any given time, probably adding a bunch of excess stress but anyways since then they have kind of gotten a little lax on the emulation um, and Knox player is one of those that has slipped through the cracks so as you can see I do have everything available here there's no issues I can go through everything just fine um, I update perfectly fine um, everything is as it would be on my phone so from there I'm going to show you where to go, how to set this up, and what you need to know in order to play on your computer. Now you would say, well, Shotgun Shogun, why would I want to play on my computer instead of just on my phone? This definitely helps if you are an aspiring content creator, or you are just sitting at your computer all day and you don't necessarily want to look at your phone. Maybe you're going to be streaming for 18 hours and you don't want your mom to call in the middle of the stream and, you know, or text you with little pet names like, you know, whatever. There's a whole lot of reasons to want to play Fate Grand Order on your computer. The other thing, too, is it doesn't necessarily take up data. So what are you going to want to do? So let's go back. You're going to want to go to Google and you're going to want to search for Big Knox. That's B-I-G-N-O-X. And that will bring up the BigKnox.com. So you're going to want to come here and you're going to want to download um, the newest version. Now, I haven't personally installed the newest version. I'm running on a little bit of an older version, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to break anything. There might be some additional functionality that I haven't checked. I haven't updated in a, for a while, but I'm also one of those people that's like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But I do know that there have been a handful of people that I have helped set this up in the meantime and they are all running perfectly fine so you're going to want to download this and then you're going to want to open this up so when you open this here let me let me restart as you can see i have a plethora of um gotcha games on there so when you start it up it's it's going to go through this now when you do start this up you are going to have to attach a google account to your Google Play Store. So this is just as easy as using any of the Google accounts or you can use a dummy Google account if you want. So as you can see, I put a lot of gotcha games on here. Now, not all of them will work. You'll have to go through, you'll have to try it out, stuff like that, but Fate Grand Order will open up perfectly fine on this. Um, I have had almost no issues the sh amount of times that I have uh, went ahead and installed this. The other nice thing about Knox is that you can open and save multiple different um, instances of Knox and then rename them. So let's say you have a main and a secondary account. You can have two different Knox players for each one of those because what this does is it acts as a virtual machine for those of you who are in IT. So it saves a complete instance of this environment so you can have multiples that's how I had six running at any given time so 
it's definitely advantageous to have this if you a don't want to use your mobile data or say your tablet can't connect to uh, you know your phone tablet can't connect to Wi-Fi I don't know why that would be an issue but let's just say that you want it for data issues for recording items this is a good alternative to set that up now as I said before I don't necessarily know that when you're watching this that this will be um, this will be working it very well may break at any given time but as I said earlier too you're always going to want to come to as soon as you install and start your game you're going to want to come in and issue yourself a transfer number every single time make that on your checklist to do things issue transfer number because there have been a handful of times where I have went through and blown out the data in order to install a, a secondary account or a third account you know maybe I, I'm on my primary account and I go oh crap did I did I issue myself a transfer number um, always 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 issue yourself a transfer number uh, I like to keep one in Google Docs I like to keep one physically on a notepad on my computer and I physically write one down on a notepad that's next to my computer uh, because I do not want to lose any of my waifus so that is just a really quick overview go to bignox.com get it it's super easy to install very very straightforward um, and yeah, the other nice thing too about running other gotcha games on here is the one thing I hate is games with tons and tons of annoying push notifications that I'm just casually playing. So you can just put all of them on here and you can play any, um, any other gotcha game that you want without all of the really annoying push notifications. Um, anyways, guys, yeah, this is a little bit different than my normal videos, but I hope you found this, um, informative and, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.